Hey, what's going on? My name is Gabriel. I have an R9T Scrambler that's coming up on 12,000 miles. And this is the first in a series of videos that addresses the 12,000 mile service. In this one, I'll be going over the final drive fluid change. Let's take a quick look at the tools you'll need. Do you have a bike stand? I use the ABBA Super Bike Stand. You'll need a torque wrench with an extension and T45 and T50 torque spits. Get a set of these long Torx wrenches. For this procedure, we'll be using the long T40. You'll need 180 milliliters of synthetic gear oil. I accidentally purchased two. You only need about half of one of these. Uh, something to catch the oil, doesn't need to be fancy. A 100 milliliter syringe with either a really long spout or tube attachment. And finally, a replacement copper sealing washer for the fill plug and a new o-ring for the drain plug. Links below in the description. Before changing the fluid, go for a ride to get the final drive fluid warmed up. A 15-20 minute ride should do. The fluid will drain out more fully when it's warm. Now quickly get your bike up on a stand and your rear wheel off the ground. Here I'm trying to loosen the wheel bolts, but the bike is still in neutral. So move the shifter up to second gear to keep the wheel from turning. I'm loosening the bolts in a crisscross pattern. I'll go over that when we reinstall the rear wheel. You'll find that as you work on your bike, that ease of maintenance is built into the design. For instance, to remove the rear wheel, all you need to do is unbolt the five wheel bolts. You don't need to deflate the tires or remove the mufflers, with the exception of the 9T Classic. But uh, go slow and easy so that you don't slam any metal together. The final drive fluid fill plug is currently behind the wheel carrier. I'm going to squeeze the clutch in, grab the rear brake rotor and rotate it until I can get clear access to the plug. I'm going to unbolt the plug to vent the final drive while it drains. There wasn't enough clearance for me to use a standard Torx bit here, but I have a long torque set which provides enough clearance. Use the T40 here. Position your oil catch under the drain plug and get ready to unbolt it. Use the T45 Torx here. As it's draining, take a look at your final drive drain plug. It's magnetic. It will catch any metal particles that develop from within the final drive. As you can see, there's a bit of metal sludge here. Clean that out and hit it with some compressed air. Then, put a new O-ring on the drain plug. After all the oil drains out, reinstall the drain plug and torque it to 20 newton meter or 14 and 3 quarters foot pounds. The final drive's recommended oil capacity is 180 milliliters. Using the 100 milliliter syringe, withdraw a full 100 milliliters on the first pass, then 80 milliliters on the second pass. Install a new copper sealing washer on the filler plug. This washer gets crushed to form a tight seal each time you tighten the bolt, so you have to replace it every time. Tighten and torque this to 20 newton meters, or 14 and 3 quarters foot pounds. Wipe up any spilled oil around the filler. Before I reinstall the rear wheel, I'm gonna hit the wheel bolts with some WD-40 to prevent rust and the bolts from seizing onto the wheel carrier. 
Clean up the areas of the wheel and wheel carrier where they make contact and I'm going to finger tighten the bolts on. Be cautious here as the wheel will slip off periodically as you screw the bolts in. Here's the crisscross pattern I mentioned earlier. You've got five wheel bolts to tighten. After tightening one, you move across to the other side to tighten the next one. You're basically drawing a star pattern as you make your way around to all the bolts. This minimizes any offsetting and or misalignment. Set your torque wrench to a low setting like 10 foot-pounds and tighten them down in the crisscross pattern. Then set your torque wrench to the recommended 60 newton meters or 44 and a quarter foot-pounds and tighten all the bolts again in a crisscross pattern. I always forget to do this, but remember to reset your torque wrench to zero when you're done. And if you found this video helpful, someone else will too. Give it a like so others can find it. And please subscribe if you want to see the rest of the 12,000 mile service. Thanks for watching. Peace.